Hey there, Ben here again. Uh, just wanted to show you guys another project that I got on the go. This is my little Dakota RT that I had mentioned in the first video. Uh, I also want to say the response from the first video has been overwhelming, so I uh, just want to thank all three of you for watching that. And uh, if you happen to notice, that was recorded on April Fool's Day and uh, how my shop was so messy, haha, <laughs> gotcha. So uh, back to reality a little bit here. Great joke, I know. All right, so this is my Dakota RT. Um, this is a 99, it's got the 5.9 Magnum in it. Um, this has actually got really low mileage. It's only 140,000 kilometers, which is probably about 90,000 miles, somewhere in there. And um, despite how it looks, it actually runs amazingly well and feels like you're in a brand new vehicle. Obviously, somebody uh, believes that Rubin is racing a little bit there, so it's been dinged up a bit. Um, stance is way off, needs to be lowered bad, and different rims and tires and all that. But this was actually bought out of Alberta, sight unseen. So I have to um, do a uh, out of province vehicle inspection, and I actually did one and it failed hilariously because out of th my three vehicles, this one's probably the most. Uh, safe on the road um the things that it failed for were actually pretty ridiculous too so these headlights are uh firmly mounted and properly functioning the flashers work and the high beams low beams running lights everything and the guy told me that those are a danger to society uh he wasn't joking i'm not putting words in his mouth like i just could not believe it but um, back under here there was a little bit of damage and one of the screws that goes into the uh, headlight is not there and he like seriously this is something a human being told me that those firmly mounted properly functioning headlights are a danger to society oh my god I cannot believe that so anyways um, it's got some issues unfortunately the alarm module is buggered up so every time you close the door it automatically sets the alarm which is super annoying but as you can see the interior is like brand new I mean the carpet could use a good shampooing or something like that but I just cannot believe how good a shape this thing is in and um, the belt was uh, squeaking a little bit on the ride over to the shop here, but I'll start it up. It's got a MagnaFlow exhaust on it, and the thing just purrs like a kitten. So I've got a few things i got to fix before I can get this on the road and then uh, once I have this um, past the BC vehicle inspection I'm going to start having this as my daily driver and I'm going to pull the 12 valve into the shop and just spend a couple of months getting as many loose ends sort of tightened up as I can. All the half finished projects and stuff are really starting to bother me. Um, but there's a few things in the inspection that were pretty legitimate concerns. Uh, there's a rear wheel cylinders leaking which you know isn't the end of the world but uh, definitely i'll fix and uh, one of the tie rods is uh, or tie rod ends is um, needing to get replaced and then it'll need an alignment because it's pulling to the right a little bit and uh, a couple of little things like that um, the fog lights he said if the if there's fog lights there they have to be functional which also seems pretty questionable but i'll go ahead and replace those and then uh, also the license plate light is um, burned out so mostly all pretty straightforward stuff i just i can't believe what a big deal he made out of these headlights i mean it's just so absurd uh so as far as what i want to do with the truck um i'm still kind of trying to decide i mean the paint somebody tried to do some weird sort of paint job i don't even know with house paint or what that was but uh, obviously it's going to need some kind of coating. I'll most likely do a wrap or paint it myself or something like that. Um, I will be putting a handbrake in it for sure. In terms of power, I'm kind of torn between just dropping a 6 liter in there or, or sticking with a 5.9 Magnum and putting one or two turbos on it. There seems to be a real uh, consensus view by virtually everybody that these aren't um, 
worthy of sort of high horsepower. So I would imagine kind of 550, 600 at the wheels would probably be about as far as I would push it. So I'm definitely gonna be lowering it. Uh, most likely uh, a three, four drop, I think, and then going 20 inch rims and as wide a tires as I can possibly stuff in there. I'll probably ditch the rear leafs and uh, go a four link. Um, the rear tonneau cover sits up super high, which is kind of annoying. So um, I might uh, try and modify this one uh, so that it sits a little lower because if you look on the inside, the structure on it is actually very solid. So this thing is actually just a very stout, solid design. I mean, you can see up here, like this is all just solid uh, fiberglass. I've actually been laying on this thing in the sun. I mean, it is unbelievably strong. So if I could somehow modify it to sit flush against here or else um, get a new one, but that's gonna be a super low priority. Um, down here, I'll be putting a roll pan in the rear for sure. Uh, some sort of big stereo and um, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean if I bump up the power this thing's obviously going to need some transmission uh, upgrades. Uh, it's got a 46 RE which is very similar to a 47 RE and I actually just rebuilt one in my 12 valve so I have the manual or the uh, rebuild manual is actually the same book and apparently you can put a lot of the parts from a 47 RE into one of these uh, 46 REs so uh, and those parts are readily available in all sorts of diesel applications so I will be most likely doing that. Um, I still have to kind of decide on the power plant though. Uh, possibly I'll pull the motor out of this and put it in my Xterra which will be a rock crawler project or another option because the Xterra runs great and so does this so it'd be kind of nice to just keep the proper motors in there but I have uh, the turbo, this is the stock turbo off my 12 valve and HX35, I believe it is. And apparently these are better for smaller motors. So I might put that on the Xterra and then uh, put an S475 or, or some little twin setup on this thing and, um, you know, try and turn it into a bit of a wild animal. So anyways, just wanted to introduce you to vehicle number two in my fleet of jalopies. So I will be, uh, jumping through the hoops and getting this thing um, quote unquote safe for the road. And then uh, from there, probably diving right back into the 12 valve stuff and trying to get that all buttoned up. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day.